What is up, guys? Avon Lou coming at you from Queens, New York. Speed Metal Maniacs. I'm Avon Doom. I'm Billy Bombs. And uh, today we want, we literally, like five minutes ago, just finished watching a of, classic film. <laughs> fucking amazing. We just finished Demolition Man from 1996, starring Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes. And Sandra Bullock, the social justice warrior's dream of the future. That's what, yeah. That's I watching this movie. Um, made like was really really eerie considering like all the stuff that we've been going on, like that's been going on for the past like fifteen years. Um, but we're gonna mix it in with our comic skate stuff, and we're gonna talk about social justice warriors and some of the reasons. Because I also watched a documentary earlier today called "She Makes Comics." Okay, all right. And all to right. be honest, and our friend is Becky's on there, Becky Clunan. And so I thought that was awesome, but there was a lot of stuff they talked about that I totally agree with, because the 80s was a lot different than the 90s, and then now we're suffering in the late 2000s. Yeah, yeah. 2010 up, whatever, teens. Yeah. Um, so, like, let's just, start with the movie. Let's just briefly talk about the movie. Um, Best, uh, you want to tell, give them the synopsis of the whole film? Synopsis. All right. It's a fucking st stereotypical fucking, like, it's an 80s movie in the 90s, kind of. It's an 80s-style <laughs> movie in the 90s. Yeah, um, I mean, what do you have? Fucking Sylvester Stallone, he's chasing his fucking arch nemesis, Phoenix. Simon Phoenix. Simon Phoenix, played by Wesley Snipes. He Phenomenal. Fucking, yeah, he ends up destroying a building. They fucking cryogenically freeze both of them. Because there was dead bodies in the building that he said he did a thermal uh, scan and nobody was alive. Yeah, he gets but, basically gets framed. We don't have to go there. Everybody yeah, knows yeah. Demolition Man. We don't have to fucking do this. If you don't know Demolition and Man... And then he goes to the world of the future that has no chocolate, no cursing, no spicy food, mm -hmm. no uh, meat, no... Uh, so yeah, hold on, hold on. So he gets... So, so he gets... Alright, so he gets cryogenically frozen with Simon Phoenix because he ends up getting, getting kind of framed. I don't know if that ever... I don't remember them ever saying that that's not really what happened. But what no, happened? no, at the end, they, they talk about it. When he's on top of the car punching him, mm -hmm. he's like, you know those people in that building? They were already dead. Yeah, okay. All right, that's what I figured. So, because of us, this little can never do anything like that. Um, so, yeah, they, he's a they, man. He's they like, get cryogenically frozen, and then they wake up in 2032 from 1996, right? Instead of San Angeles, Los later. Angeles, they're in San Angeles. Yeah. So, what I found really, really eerie about this movie um, was the way... Uh, the world was controlled by super, I want to say religious, because... No, they, they were not religious. They were super proper people who yeah. outlawed violence, outlawed... Um, there was outlawed, outlawed violence, I, uh, outlawed uh, coarse language, outlawed everything bad for you. Soda, sex. salt, no, sex, abortion, caffeine, no abortions. Sex. No pregnancy, you couldn't no nothing. Be, you, couldn't be, you couldn't become I'm pregnant count without, my toes, without, sure. yeah, without, a, without a, uh, um, a license to have children. It's and they screened everything. Yeah. They had new versions of AIDS then. And what I find really funny about it is um, when you watch it, it's almost like you're looking at the utopian SJW dream, which is what they're trying to do, which is basically sterilize the entire world world like this is like legitimately it feels like no but here's the thing you get one bad guy you need you, you get it takes a maniac to catch a maniac that was a catch line of the movie like seriously because simon phoenix when they uh they unearthed him they unfroze him to kill somebody who was an underground leader who wanted to be free yeah. and not be told what to do and uh and then they freeze John Spartan, which is it makes it makes it makes a really good argument. Like you know how you see the argument that oh well, if we have no guns, then you know then there will be no crimes. Well, then what happens when the one guy gets a gun and then he fucking starts murdering everyone? Yeah, which is well, like it's actually it's a tragedy like, because of what happened in Texas earlier today. Yeah, yes, because that's yeah, a state that's that has open gun good, laws, and then there's still I, a maniac yeah, attack. I forgot about that this people. morning. That's innocent awful. fucking church goers yeah. in a small town. Um, like not but to get, we're not yeah, going to but not to get like too info yet. crazy, but uh, but it, I mean that's basically like the whole idea of the film. Like you have a utopian society, and then there's one guy that's gonna fuck it up, and it one guy can destroy who doesn't follow the rules. Because um, you're all agreeing to follow the rules. Yeah. That's the whole point of the film. Yeah. The cops do not even deal with it. They're like, we're peace officers. We never dealt mm -hmm. with this. We don't, well, the worst I thing mean, we the, do is uh, curfew breakers. And and it's funny. Like, it doesn't, like, they don't go into any type of religion or anything. No, it's none of it religion. exists. But, it's but just they're, treating each other but, right. But the the way no that... Touching. And I think, I'm sure, I'm sure that this is, um, like, this obviously was on purpose in the film. But the guy who ends up, like, basically saving, let's say saving humanity and society. Like, yeah. Corco, whatever that Dr. Cocteau. That's it. 
um, they portray him like, like he's like the high sparrow. You yeah. notice that? Like he's he's like a religious figure. It's really religious weird. Like they figure, did it, but he wants purpose. to have more power over everybody. Yeah, yeah. And but, he wants to, and he brought the uh, Wesley Snipes, Simon Phoenix, to cause more damage, which we thought was chaos. insane yeah. because only way a social justice warrior can get more power is by more chaos. Yeah. Yeah, this is the thing. Is like that was a good uh, ultimate, line. ultimate copyright infringement now because <laughs> the lowest of the low. Because ultimately, like what, like people that are really, really, really crazy about like that ideology is ultimately what they want is like more control. They want more control of speech, like really, like a lot. Of, they want really want to control your language. They want to control what you eat. They want to control what you do with your body. And it's um at least those are those are the arguments that. I don't know. A lot of people end up making against them. You know, I, we're gonna hold up talking about that other documentary because, to be honest with you, the most Man was that good to be just talking about by itself. Absolutely, yeah. Anything yeah. stuff that Stallone did back in the day was awesome. Mm-hmm. The Militiaman, Judge Dredd, Cobra. Yeah. That was eighties. Uh, yeah. Assassins, he, Tango and Cash. <laughs> Bro, um, he is awesome. Rambo one through do, one through twelve. It's whatever. just it, what's really eerie is how it like predicts the future when he yeah. starts going into when she starts going into like uh, all, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the president. Oh yeah, he was the president. <laughs> oh my in god! In the future, you, in our, in your time, he they uh, changed the laws because he was not born here. But the, the Schwarzenegger presidential library and Taco Bell won the oh, won the, uh, the franchise wars. wars. <laughs> franchise. The freaking franchise wars. How I would like to take you out on a date too. Um, Taco Bell. Uh, I saved this guy's life. Yeah. Now he's taking me out to Taco Bell. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's like really eerie. Like, they like eat it, rat it, burgers and shit because there's no meat. Doing it downstairs. Hey, what kind of burgers is yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hot us. <laughs> and it's, oh, it's, it's a rat of, burger. I don't know. I kind of okay. laugh. I kind of laugh at this because like the SJW people would consider themselves like the revolutionaries that are living in yeah, the sewers but, when they're actually the opposite. Like, because, yeah, but this movie is this yeah. is what happens when people get controlled. They, 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 they become just, the oppressors. Yeah, and yeah, then, that's what happens. And then everybody's the opposite. The, the, you know, this is in a movie sense and fucking... Yeah, I mean, it's so just different. like... A, it's just like something... Like, a lot of that is going on nowadays, like, over the last, like, 15 really like years. That. So it's... What? Like that... that, that yeah, next thing we're doing that—that that thing that, that mm, fucking fucking raving and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, like bro, the, like fucking bro. Edward S. Pumpkins. What's his name? Like, <laughs> <and> Matt. <laughs> ooh, 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 Matt. I'm David S. Pumpkins. Uh, anyways, I love making that voice. Um, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> any questions? That's so um, good. I just, for some strange reason, watching the movie like I haven't watched it in a long time, and but for some reason, it. it's really just like really relevant. The shit that they're like the society that they're living in, and it's like. It, 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 like, all right, that's like way, obviously, it's like a dystopian. I, you know what, it, at this point, I don't know what it is. Is it dystopian or is it utopian? Love from Column A, love from Column Yeah, a. right? So, like, it's a utopian society where everybody's proper and everybody's, like, cool, but then, I like, it's with each other, but then at what cost? Yeah. You can't even speak. You can't say yeah. anything. You can't listen they to anything. They charge you for cursing. Yeah. I mean, it's like. It's, they all listen to show tunes. It's essentially a totalitarian. Um, or Wiener. It's essentially a totalitarian state. Like I yeah. say, like that's basically. But what it through is. cleanliness. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what's funny is that uh, I know this is like completely like, but uh, um, it, it's funny because like Christians are like really, really psychopathic about like chips getting put into people's bodies because I like I grew up like that. My mom is terrified of that stuff, and now like I'm like. She might have been Don't worry. Right. So did us go. Yeah, it's like, holy shit. Why? Well, don't worry. Christians? That's how we felt about the Soviet blockade, uh, putting their chips on us. But the medic is going to beat us on. That, yeah, that, I mean, that's 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 the terrifying thing is like, I know these people like love technology. So do I. I love technology. But like, I, the but older the I are, get, the less Amazon I'm like. Kindle's I going in your wrist. Yeah, I don't think I want a chip in my fucking body, actually. Uh, that would probably not be good. Like, it's really convenient when you watch the movie and you can find anyone anywhere yeah, yeah, all the yeah, time, yeah. no you matter what. Trip this you got like, okay, man. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm good. Let's keep it mysterious. I'm I'm okay with my, I mean, knowing where everyone is at all times. It's a little bit odd. Um, the movie gets, uh, out of 10 explosions, 11. That's how good it was. Yeah, yeah. They I mean, cranked it up to 11 with the... Explosions. Bro, man, holy shit. They're like, the demolition, man. This is a this is a Sylvester Stallone film, so it has Classic. to get it has to get eleven Ivan Dragos. 
This is what no, I that's did. what killed him almost. <laughs> yeah, true. You got to give him eleven explosions, eleven oh, demolitions, true. eleven. <sighs> 11 out of 10 demolitions. <laughs> well, there's always 10. a bad movie. This ain't it. No, no, definitely not. I mean, uh, what was the other one with the... Damn, what the hell was her name from Golden Girls? <laughs> Sophia. Oh, that movie's amazing. <laughs> Stop and my Stop mom will shoot. shoot. shoot yeah. Yo, you don't wash this in soap. Yeah. <laughs> It'll blow up in your face. Um... <laughs> I know all the fucking films. You can do no wrong. I've watched that movie with my dad a million times. Um, but uh, very funny. (laughs) But yeah, for some strange, we kind of just did this like last minute. Yeah, we were just we were looking at clips of it on YouTube, bro. We were looking at our own show, and I was just like, "Fuck it, you know what? Let's fucking watch this movie." I have it on DVD, and I think there's like videos of like uh, uh, demolition, demolition man. It predicts like twenty years into the future. There's like, vi- I think there's videos because when we're looking at the clips, I swear, I swear, I saw them, and I'm sure that they. I exist. just saw guys who were like, "I am the nostalgia critic." Oh Jesus! <laughs> well, well, I was like, "All right, beard neck, we're out of here." <laughs> beard neck, Be- neck beard. I feel. Oh my god! I just turned into fucking. <sighs> I just turned into Spartan, and you were my fucking. Simon Phoenix. <laughs> no, oh. you said you just turned into Sandra Bullock. I was oh. like, beard neck, totally beard neck. That's what it is. <laughs> I'll be on the bus, <laughs> and I won't be on the fifth. Oh, floor. that's amazing! Holy shit! We need to find our Simon Phoenix. I think he's in the next room. No, he's my stuff's like too lazy. lazy. If I hit him with a TV, I'm like, ah. first of all, he won't move. Man. I'm like, you're oh, on no, TV. He'll just be like, nah, fuck it, and he'll just he's keep the- playing PS4. <laughs> I get, yeah, I, bro, man, nothing, yo, is it John Spine. I tell it anybody in the future. <laughs> <laughs> the one-liners in this film is fucking incredible. Of course, man. So let's just go. He goes, "Hey, this is the future. We're the phaser guns." Oh my god! But but <laughs> <laughs> but I to get to all fucking track. This is all track. It's fucking demolition. I know. It's man. a kind of a random video. I don't know why we're doing it. But um, I mean, it's demolition, man. Watch it. It's and then the, watch Judge Dredd afterwards. Just, yeah. Oh, so oh my God. God. Judge Dredd. Watch I'm on the Both Sante. Judge Dredds. I don't give a shit. Both the original Judge Dredd is really good, except the part where he takes off his helmet. Yeah, he just that's the Sante. only he difference sucks, in man. any of the films. But the f- Armand Asante is the best Rico Dread I've ever seen uh, in my life. So good. But um, why did you judge me? <laughs> why did you judge me? Um, I was your brother. But uh, uh, I wish they would make another fucking Judge Dredd. I wish Armand Asante would do more films. <laughs> Um, but, uh, <laughs> he's the ultimate gangster. Yeah. So like, so kind of, yeah. So like to kind of <laughs> crystallize like everything. Oh, All right. Let's wrap it up. And get um, out of here. But yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of odd. Like watch the, I watch that movie, watch that movie. And if like, I don't know if you're, you're like, I, I, I know this is like, we're, we're have nothing to do with politics at all. But I think it's like interesting to watch this, and then you pay attention to like all the ma- like madness that's going on politically nowadays, where everything's all just shattered and fragmented. Um, it's really eerie um, how accurate it is when you think about how much control some of these people want in society. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you watch this movie, and you're like, "That's kind of what it would be like." And who, like, who? When you when you think about that, who do you, um, how do you say it? Who do you uh, connect with more, the people in the society, or do you connect with Sylvester Stallone when he's like, "What the fuck? Where Get am I, all, bro? Yeah. yeah, you got it. Oh, what's <laughs> more, bro? Yeah, pass the salt. Cigarette. Pass the salt. Oh no, uh, it's bad for you and there for illegal. Um, but watch hey, just just film. watch it. It's 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 really odd. It's really eerie. But it's fucking awesome. It's so good. Um, we're but anyways. Mute, we're Mutant Metal Maniacs. I'm Billy Bombs. I'm Avon Doom. Enjoy the film. We'll be back for the next uh, review. Absolutely.